Also, I moved forward because I thought you were a lot louder than me. Oh, really? Yeah, you were kind of yelling. Oh, I didn't mean to yell. That's okay. When you get passionately into something, you get a little loud like Mom does. Ah! Well, at least you're singing. <laughs> Are we almost done with this? I don't know. I need to be done in a few minutes to play with Nate because I told him I'd play Alien with him. Oh, like, just this part of, like, moving the thing and fighting constantly is getting a little repetitive, you know? Hey, I'm the one who has to do it. I'm just saying it's getting a little repetitive. I don't understand why everybody, like you, Nate, T, everybody's so damn impatient with everything we play, but usually I'm the one who has to play the dumb part of it, and I'm not impatient with it. Have you noticed <laughs> that? Well, that, the reason you're playing it is because you're the one who's not impatient. You're a good little boy. Well, I'm just saying, like, it seems to me like you guys got some problems with, um... Patience? Yeah, not getting mad. Yeah... I mean, that's something I'm trying very hard to work on, because I used to have some really bad anger issues, believe it or not. And I've gotten a lot better with them, I think, and a lot of it used to be my medication. Um, you know, because I used to be on something called sertraline that really... It's supposed to help your anxiety, but it just really made me so angry all the time. Like, it just fucked with my head. And then when I tried Ventilofaxin, that also made me feel Whoa. like that. I always believed in you. I knew you'd return to me. We are whole again, Isaac. We are whole. That was weird. Yeah. She sounds very skivvy. So she wasn't real. Oh, she wasn't? No. She was a hallucination. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that makes sense, because of the hallucinations that we're seeing on the ship and stuff. Gravity tethers offline. Tectonic load released. Impact imminent. Evacuate this area immediately. Did we save everyone? Well, I mean, uh, what do you mean everyone? Most people are dead. Well, like, did we make it so they s necromorphs stop, you know, being a thing now on the ship? I think you might have kicked the cord because the Xbox controller stopped working. It's still in the computer. But, um, I don't know, we put it back on the planet where it belongs. There we go. Like, do you think we did the right thing? Like... Is it okay now? I mean, I think we did the right thing. I thought it was just forcing me to watch that. Oh, no. Oh, we're just being decontaminated. What would be the point of doing this? Wait. I don't know, shooting something on the ceiling, I guess? Isaac, you really didn't think I was just gonna walk away from you? I can't do that. Marker's coming with me. It's a shame. I was starting to like you. Even if you are insane. What, you don't believe me? Take a look at yourself. Better yet, take a look at the video from Nicole. And this time, watch it right to the end. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. It's such a little thing. In the end, it all comes down to one little thing. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I always loved you. Don't worry. 
So were we not supposed to bring it back to the planet? Is that what the marker wanted? No, I think that we were supposed to bring it back to the planet. But Kendra's fucking everything up. Yes. So why did the marker make us hallucinate something that would hurt it? I don't think it would hurt it. I thought that the hive mind on the planet wanted the marker back. Oh. I thought the hive mind didn't want it back because it wanted to be able to spread its necromorphs everywhere. Well, there is that too, so I guess I don't... I don't fully understand. I feel stupid now that you're asking me questions. Well, I don't fully understand either. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell us, because, like, I feel stupid too. Like, I don't get it. I feel like I should get it. I feel like I should get it too, but I just don't understand. Like, did we... Were we supposed to bring it to the planet or not? Did we do a good thing? Why don't you look it up real quick? Or is Kendra like... doing the right thing? Why don't you look up, like, why did the... In Dead Space, why did the marker want to be returned to the planet or why did Isaac hallucinate or anything like that. And while you do that, I'm going to keep um, trucking along. Okay. Use heal. During the events of the first Dead Space game, the red marker is transported from the cargo deck of the USG Ishimura to the planet below Aegis something, like five, six, seven. Aegis 7? Aegis okay. 7? Okay. Um, Idris Elba 7, got it. Yeah, this is where Altman's red marker was originally found by the mining ship. However, both Terrence Kine and Isaac Clark are under substantial inf- ups, sub What's going on? Are you okay? Are under substantial influence by the marker, and both are convinced and assisted by the marker's hallucinations, Amelia Kine and Nicole Brennan, respectively, to return it to the planet. Only after Isaac somehow breaks free from the marker's influence on the surface, partly due to Kendra Daniels' influence, the only one who appears unaffected by the marker, can Are he... you going to spoil it? Um... Well, like, I just want to know why... Why did it want to get brought back here? Well, I'll just skip this part. If the marker's goal is to spread, it should remain on the Ishimura, where it is most likely that more vessels arrive to investigate and where the marker has a shot at getting to a place with more organisms, uh, for example, Earth. The marker has a veritable army on the Ishimura, but clearly it is trying very hard to get to Aegis 7 by manipulating Kine and Isaac. Why? Um, you on Reddit? Answer. No, I'm on, like, a question and answer site. Oh, sorry. <laughs> From what I understand, the hive, mind is, the hive mind is the bad boy of the whole necromorph thing, and the red marker in Aegis 7 is the device that stops it, or at least puts the creature to sleep. When they took the marker to USG Ishimura, that is, away from the hive mind, it woke up and started spreading its infection again. The creature can tr control necromorphs through telepathy. Okay. The red marker was created by humans, by sovereign colonies, by reverse engineering the black marker farm found on Earth years back. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I get it now. So this marker was the fake one. This one was the one that was made by the humans in order to put the hive mind to sleep so that the... Uh, necromorphs wouldn't spread. So I understand, because I was under the Im uh, the impression this whole time that the marker and the necromorphs were together, working I, together. I was under that impression too, but here's the thing. So for everyone who's, who's confused, the marker is the thing that puts the bad hive mind to sleep. It's and, a lock. And the marker is the thing that's poisoning our, our mind and making us see things, but it's trying to make us do the right thing. That's the good guy. The bad guy is Kendra, and Kendra's trying to make us keep the hive mind alive. And I don't know if she fully understands that or not. Whoa. But really, what we're, what we're wanting to do is to put oh the hive God. mind to sleep. Right. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's oh what my. I call full frontal. Oh my. She just got ham saladed. That is what we call uh, full penetration. Oh my. That's what we call Ken dicked down. 
get it like Kendra? So, yes, I, I got it, thanks. So this thing does want to spread. Yes, this thing is the hive mind, and it wants uh, to spread everywhere, but the marker is what puts it to sleep. Got it. Okay. So this is the thing that's making the necromorphs. This is Daddy. Right. What time is it, Joel? Um, it's 10.25. But yeah, what? pretty much we were doing the right thing by putting it on the planet. Um, but I don't know what we're going to do now. I hope Isaac can still put it on the planet. However, I did read one thing that um, was a bit unnerving to see. So I'm not sure how the end of this game is going to go now. Right, that makes sense. I'm trying to finish because I have to go in like five minutes. Yeah, uh, this thing is scary. This thing is like really scary. So, once you've gotten all the yellow things, is it gonna die or? Because like I feel like this is very large creature for just five yellow things, you know? I do too. They kind of look more like teeth. Yeah. He is a very icky man. Could you text Nate and tell him that I couldn't text him, but that I'm just finishing Dead Space and it should be only like five or ten more minutes till I'm done because we want to finish our Let's Play. Yeah. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, okay. wait. Is that an insta-kill? Come on. It might be. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, I just texted him. I think he's gonna kill me. I think you're gonna be okay. I think this is just another phase of the fight. Just keep shooting him. Shooting his yellow things. It's impossible to hit. Keep trying. I got one. Oh, you got one. You, got, you made it burst like a cyst. Ew. Oh, oh my gosh. Gross. You like popped his zits for him. You dropped me. Pizza face. Oh, there's more yellow things, like, in his little rib cage that you're going to have to shoot. Well, I helped him. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. So, yeah, the, um, after reading about, like, the hive mind and the marker thing, that was really interesting, because, like, I also thought that, like, the hive mind, I mean, that the marker was evil and that it was with, like, that it was, like, the reason for the necromorphs, not that it was the thing that put them to sleep, but, like, now that I get it more, it, it makes me understand more, like, why these necromorphs would come about after they moved the marker, like, because before they were all asleep, you know, and once they moved the marker away from the hive mind, the hive mind was able to wake up. Right. So it makes a lot more sense, and it's very interesting, and I wish we would have understood that more because I feel like they tried to make it kind of clear in the story and we're just kind of dumb. Well, I was just having a hard time understanding that this marker was fake. Yeah, I think Kendra at one point said that it was made by man. Well... But I just didn't get it still, you know? Like, I think we we both just didn't get it still, you know? But, like... When, when you got a, a synopsis of it, it's much easier to understand. And I bet there's probably a couple other people who are, who are kind of confused, too. So it's not like we're dumb. I just think, you know, it's it's a very complicated lore that you really got to look in depth on and think out of the box for. Right, okay. I think the game still did a pretty good job of trying to tell it. I think the remake will probably do a better job, I hope, of telling this story. Um, and who knows, maybe they'll give us a couple of twists and turns, but at the very end of the day, even if it's not good, we still always have this. You know, That's the original, true. Which is still very fun and very good. I don't have much uh, ammo left. I wish they would have let us go to a shop before all of this. If we lose, I gotta be done and we gotta finish next time. No, oh, I don't want you to lose. I want you to kill it. I'm trying, but I'm not doing the best job. I just Get need... him! Well, I need him to open his chest. Open your chest. That sounds kind of spicy. Oh yeah, ask a girl on TikTok to open her chest. I'm not so desperate that I need to ask people on TikTok to show me their chest. That's true. 
I think it's funny when people do do that, though. <laughs> I think it's weird because, like, Pornhub is, like, two clicks away if you really, really need... Your... Yeah, but that's not as fun. I like hard to get girls. Is that their reasoning? Is that I think saying? so. I think that is their reasoning. Like, they want hard to get girls. Like, they want it to feel taboo. If you just go to Pornhub, it doesn't feel taboo because, like, those girls are just whores. That's a mean way to look at things, but okay. Well, I'm not... I don't think that. I don't think there's anything wrong with being a whore, but that's what those guys, I think think you know i don't think there's anything wrong with that and i don't think you know like if you want to look at boobs i think you should just go there but there's some guys who like think it's more fun oh. to try and get a girl to open it up when she's not supposed to that's dumb that's not taboo there's nothing taboo about it it's not like romeo and juliet shit or something i don't know that's just i think what their thought process is i don't know they have kind of a dumb thought process that thing is disgusting. Whoa, look at all of that. that Ew. Really cool. Oh, man. Oh, I think you killed it. For good measure. Why don't you shoot the box? I tried. Oh. That's a shame. I think we might be done. Yay! End of game! End of game! End of game! Yay, Bubby finish! Woo! 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 Run out of the ship! Woo! Okay. We get it, Joe. Yeah. Oh, Why did it open? I don't know. We're just leaving the marker there? Yeah, we're leaving it on the planet. Alright, that makes sense. I thought Good it was enough. I thought it was supposed to go in its special spot. But I think all right. it was, but then we killed the the hive mind anyway. That's so I true. don't think it matters. That's probably true. Jeez, well, who called in the asteroid for the dinosaur age here? Me. Just like we got Sephiroth's final attack from Final Fantasy VII going right through. Yes, we did, and we did good. He's taking off his helmet. Whoa, look at his face. Hot. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. Poor guy. He's so sad. Mm. He looked better with his helmet on. Yeah, he did. <gasps> My goodness! That was like a final hallucination. That was awful. You gotta admit, this was a good game. It was a very good game. Because you were like, oh, I want to be done with it. Oh, I'm kind of tired of the game. Oh, I want to be done. But well, it was I was a really getting good, a little tired of it. But it's a really good game. It is. It is a very good game. I give them that. That's very good. All right, bye. Wait, are we done? Yeah, I thought are we were not, done. Are you not going to say anything else? We usually do a recap of some kind. Ah, I thought it was a good game. Well, are you still wanting to play the other two? Because I am. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I thought we just, should play it. Just not right I, away. I want to play Silent Hill next, though. Yeah, this was great, though. Like, I had a really fun time. I love the environments. Like, I love the industrial style that they go with where it's kind of alieny but kind of more like i don't know futuristic rundown type stuff i thought it was really cool and i really I, liked that final planet yeah that was fun except for dragging the marker was annoying mm -hmm. but i really do hope that the remake is just as good because i'm kind of unconvinced that it will be from the team working on it and also from current day ea but i i hope to be proven wrong you know i hope to be proven wrong too i don't know how good it's gonna be but you know what? Gonna keep your hopes high, right? Yeah. Why you gotta mess with that stuff when we were finishing? I dropped it. Right, why were you messing with it? I don't know. I was just playing. Whoa. Wait a minute. There's something else. Oh, really? It's got a message. Oh my. Somebody decode that in the comments. Military suit unlocked. Backstory, Backstory logs, logs unlocked. 50,000 50, credits, 10 power nodes awarded, impossible mode unlocked. I like so how I it guess. gives us all this stuff after we're done with the game. Well, we can include that in the recording other than you throwing things to the ground. Will you help me look for that? Yeah. 
Oh, I think I found it actually. 